Today, we will hear statements by the honorable members for the districts of Stephenville, Port of Port, Bjorn Grand Bank, Bayburg Green Bay, Ferryland, Labrador West, and Fortune Bay, Cape Lahoon with leave. The honorable, the member for Stephenville, Port of Port. Thank you, Speaker. You're never too old to try something new. Jack White of Port of Port East is living testament to this statement. In March 1983, the fastest men and women from across the world had gathered in Labrador City for the World Cup Cross Country Skiing Championships. Jack, 43 years old at the time, was working in Wabush and attended the races. His decision to watch these races changed his life. Fast forward 40 years, Jack White is a legendary name in skiing. Jack's passion for skiing has taken him to competitions in the skiing capitals of the world, Austria, Germany, France, Sweden, Norway, Denmark. In the past 40 years, White has achieved many medals and awards for his success in the sport. In March of this year, White celebrated three gold medals at the Masters World Cup of cross-country skiing in Canmore, Alberta. First place in the 5K, 10K, and 15K for the age 80 to 84 category. Jack is looking forward to the Masters in France in three years' time. Jack participates in other sports, such as cycling, running, and long-distance hiking. Jack's greatest cheerleader is his wife, Margaret, who supports and encourages him all the way. I'd like for members of the Honorable House to congratulate Jack on his past accomplishments and wish him well in his upcoming tournaments. The Honorable, the member for Buren Grand Bank. Speaker, volunteers make a real difference in their communities and the people they serve. This is so true for Charles Pimwell of Fortune in the district of Buren Grand Bank. Charles dedicated much of his life to helping others unselfishly, offering his knowledge, skills, and talents. Charles spent his working career as an educator in this province for 33 years before retiring in 2009. He spent 28 of these years as a member of the Fortune Lions Club, served as chair of the, of the Action Committee for Youth, vice chair of the College of the North Atlantic, member of the Bjorn Peninsula Waste Management Board, founding member of the Fellow from Fortune Festival Committee, and the chairperson of the Age Friendly Committee. Charles is best known in his community and on the Bjorn Peninsula for his career in municipal politics. He was elected to council in 1985 and served his community until 2021. Yes, you heard it right. He served council for 36 years, and 22 of those years he was mayor. During this time, Fortune maintained its place in the fishery, made great strides in tourism, upgraded municipal infrastructure, and secured developments to accommodate the St. Pierre Ferry Service. I ask all members to recognize Charles' contribution as a volunteer and an elected official. Thank you. The Honorable, the member, Bayford Green Bay. Thank you, Speaker. I rise to acknowledge a constituent, Greg Roberts, a well-known and respected businessman from Triton Island. Desiring to be self-employed, Greg chose a career path as a chartered accountant. Soon after articling, he operated his first restaurant, Spencer's Diner, on Pilly's Island. Having a keen interest in the restaurant business, Greg kept a close eye on the Mary Browns franchise as he believed it had tremendous potential. Since purchasing the Mary Browns brand in February of 2007, Greg has expanded the franchise to be recognized as one of the fastest growing restaurant chains in the country. Greg has over 170 restaurants across Canada and, and plans to expand globally. November 2021, Mary Brown's Chicken acquired naming rights of the former Mile One Centre in St. John's to be rebranded as the Mary Brown Centre. The partnership includes sponsoring local sports teams who play at the centre and a Mary Brown's Express. April 6, 2022, Mary Brown's announced a five-year partnership with Canada's only Major League Baseball team, the Toronto Blue Jays. 
the first ever Mary Brown's Chicken Concession at the Rogers Center began opening night. I ask all honorable members to join me in congratulating Greg Roberts and thanking him for being an inspiration to us all. Thank you, Speaker. The Honorable, the member for Fairyland. Thank you, Speaker. I rise today to recognize and congratulate two individuals and an organization in, in the District of Fairyland who are recipients of the Recreation Newfoundland and Labrador Awards in November of 2021. These awards are presented in recognition of an individual or a group of volunteers in honor of their outstanding efforts and invaluable contributions to the development of recreation. Both Kelly and Rodney Joyce of Bay Bulls receive Volunteer of the Year awards. Kelly and Rodney play a major role in sports and recreation in the Bay Bulls, the Baleen area. They both give freely of their time whenever required. The Kinsman Club of Wetless Bay and area were also presented with the Volunteer Group of the Year award. This group provides much needed assistance and are very active and supportive of all recreation groups, both young and old. The Kinsmen offer great support in a number of other recreation activities in the region. Speaker, I ask all members of this House to join me in congratulating Rodney and Kelly Joyce and the Willis Bay Kinsmen Club on their awards. Thank you. The Honourable the Member for Labrador West. Thank you, Speaker. Today I rise to give recognition to Ducks Unlimited chapter in Labrador West. Ducks Unlimited Canada is known for their conservation efforts. I recently had the opportunity to attend a Ducks Unlimited event where a wetland conservation agreement was made between Tagore Resources for a 30-year agreement which will result in 22 acres of Tagore's wetlands being reserved for wildlife and waterfowl breathing. breeding. Ducks Unlimited Labrador West has been successful in other ventures in the conservation efforts to support the ducks population in Labrador West. In 2019, the committee took on the challenge of building 100 nesting boxes, of which was a, of successful usage. Ducks Unlimited are, will be adding 90 more nesting boxes to the area this year. They've been able to do this through fundraising and raffling efforts. Ducks Unlimited has been also acquired several uh, educational signs, which will be found along popular trails in Labrador West, and there will be more to come in the future. I ask all honorable members in joining me in congratulating Ducks Unlimited Labrador West for their conservation efforts to protect wildlife in the area. Thank you. The Honourable the Member for Fortune Bay, Cape Lahoon, with leave. Leave. Leave is granted. The Honourable the Member for uh, Fortune Bay, Cape Lahoon. Thank you. Speaker, high school sports, whether it's volleyball, hockey, or other sports like badminton, is fun and part of the lasting memories created in our schools. This past weekend, Beta Spear Academy in St. Albans hosted the school sport NL Badminton Provincials. Ten teams from all over the province came to say, and to say excitement was in the air is an understatement. Many participated and lots of fun was had and memories created. The tournament took place in the new state-of-the-art school in St. Albans that opened earlier this year, and there's a lot of pride in that building and surrounding communities. And after this weekend, even more pride as the hosting team, the Beta Spear Academy Predators, and they include Sean Walsh, Amber Roberts, Tia Cox, Braden Collier, Marcus Hoskins, Ryan Harding, Brooklyn Framp, Noah Nugent, Mark Wilcott and Peyton House won gold, along with the Provincial Championship banner that will proudly hang as the first banner won in their new gymnasium. And I'm sure there will be many more to come. I ask all honorable members to join me in congratulating the winning team and all teams, coaches, parents, and all that made this possible. Thank you, Speaker.